Hi, this is David from PhoneBuff.com, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to use Set CPU for Android. In order to be able to use this app, you do need to have root permissions on your phone, otherwise you won't be able to actually change the uh, clock speeds. So with that said, I'll go ahead and open up the app. You'll be taken to this screen where you have uh, two options. You could hit Auto Detect Speeds, which is recommended, or you could show other frequency sets. Um, like I said, recommended to uh, choose this one, but if for some reason this doesn't work, you can hit this guy and uh, it'll give you a list of phones or processors that you could choose from. Just choose whatever one best matches your phone, but like I said, only do that after you've tried this one and if it doesn't work. So I'll just go ahead and select that for now. And I'm um, just gonna say it's got requesting root, so I hit okay. You can see it's been granted uh, super user permissions. If you get a pop-up, which you probably will, the first time you run this app, it's going to ask you to allow it or deny it. Hit allow and make sure the little uh, remember box is checked. Alright, so after you do that, you'll be taken to the main tab. And from here, you can actually change the, uh, the clock speeds. So at the top bar, you have the maximum clock speed. And then at the bottom bar, you've got the, you've got the uh, minimum. And uh, my phone is at, currently set at 1,000. So I'll go ahead and change this to 1200 and you can see the values right over here underneath uh, in green change as I slide this guy over. If, you, if they don't actually change, there's a good chance that what you're doing isn't actually working. Um, if you're running an HTC device, what you'd want to do is hit menu and uh, go to, I don't know if you guys can see that, perf lock disabler. You're going to hit that. And uh, it should disable the perf lock that comes with some HTC devices. And then after you do that, you'll be uh, able to actually change the clock speeds. But a thing to note is most kernels, including the stock ones, don't allow you to overclock. You actually have to have a custom kernel that allows for overclocking before you can actually uh, push it past the factory default. So I have a custom kernel. It's the Overstock 2.4.1 for the Samsung Vibrant. There's a review on that on phonebuff.com and there's also a uh, how-to video on phonebuff.com on how to change or how to flash a uh, custom kernel. So um, with that said, I'll just go ahead and set this at 1200 and um, next thing I want to go over is the scaling governors. You've got an option typically from four major ones and depending on your kernel you have more options or less. but uh, the four ones that you tend to see most often are on demand, power save, conservative, and performance. You can see mine set on con conservative because um, this one will go between your minimum and maximum clock speeds, but gradually go up to the maximum as you put more of a load on the processor. Um, the on demand one works in a similar way, except for it doesn't gradually go up, it just goes straight to the maximum. Um, performance, pretty much like the name says, it stays at the maximum the whole time so for in this case for my phone it would be at 1200 no matter what whether i'm reading an article or i'm running a, a 3d game and the power save is the opposite of performance it'll run at the minimum clock at all times and this is mainly like the name says to save power um like i said i choose conservative because you get a balance of performance and uh battery life with this one so you can choose whatever one you like, but this is the one I use and I actually recommend it. And uh, most uh, developers seem to do the same. And right here you'll see that there's a set on boot option. I haven't checked, um, but when you're setting your clock speeds, I definitely recommend to uncheck this guy and test it out for at least a day or two, especially when you're overclocking, because there's a chance that you might overclock to an unstable speed where your phone will start freezing or acting up and um, you could reset it and go back to normal when this is unchecked. But when it's checked, it's going to keep going back to that unstable clock speed. And there's a chance you might not be able to get back into the app to set it back to the normal speeds. And uh, you'd have to do a hard reset, you know, and that's definitely something you'd want to avoid. So definitely test it out before you check this. But once you do, check it because if you don't check it, every time you restart, you'll have to reset or redo this process of, you know, setting the clock speeds you want. That's pretty much it for the main uh, screen. And um, the next tab is the profiles tab. 
And from here, you could uh, actually create custom profiles that allow you to uh, set the clock speeds uh, based off of conditions. So I'll, I'll go ahead and hit enable and uh, show you what I mean. So the profile, for example, right now it's selected on cha our charging. You can make it so the phone, while it's uh, being charged, could go to a certain governor, so let's say performance, and I can make the minimum clock speed, you know, 1200. So while it's charging, or while the phone's plugged in, I can make it so the phone will actually uh, run at full performance. And that way if I'm using it, I won't have to worry about it going to a lower clock, clock speed and I'll get, you know, the best performance. Um, there's a few options you could do. Uh, there's charging or charging while you're on a AC adapter, the USB, uh, when the screen's off, when the battery's uh, you know below a certain percentage, and you could set that percentage, phone temperature and time. So there's a lot of things you could actually tweak uh, through this tab. I don't actually use them because I don't really have a need for it, and uh, my battery life is fine without it. But if you want more control, it's definitely something you should explore. Um, last thing you'll see is the priority right here. When you set multiple uh, prior or multiple um, profiles, you want to set the priority so that way you could uh, tell the app which one's the most important. So let's say if the battery is less than 30%, you want it to run on um, power save mode, even if it's on charge, you're going to set that profile up, the battery less than 30%, and you want to make the priority a little bit higher than the other one you set where when, it, when it's on charge, uh, it runs at full full capacity. So that way, you know, if you're on 30% and you plug it in, it's gonna actually charge your phone rather than just supply enough power to power the processor. Um, that's pretty much for this tab. And um, the next tab you'll see is the advanced tab. This is just so you can change the sampling rate, which, you know, tells the governors when to grade up or down the uh, processor speed. I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't use this. Um, and most people actually don't use this. But it's definitely something you could do if you want more control over, you know, uh, your what your processor is doing and when it grades the uh, speed up. The info tab just gives you just that, um, just info on your phone and your processor, uh, like temperatures and things like that. And it allows you to do a few tests to test your processor and your clock speeds. And then the about is just telling you what version you have. And a cool little thing actually is it lets you change the theme. So if you want to go to like Let's do uh, BIOS. Um, you could change the theme of the set CPU app. So now you can see it. It looks like this. So it's a pretty cool feature, but um, that's just, just for fun. Um, but that's pretty much it uh, on the app. If you have any uh, other questions, just visit phonebuff.com and uh, drop us a message or leave a comment on this video. Um, this is David from phonebuff.com, and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. And uh, the full how-to on how to use set CPU is also on phonebuff.com. Thank you.